Man, guys, and girls, Virginia is a really beautiful state. I mean, look at this place. Yep, wait, never mind. Here's Virginia. I could really use some new jokes. Yo, yeah, boy. Sometimes I like to take the stairs down to the lobby. That way I don't have to use the elevator, which not only gives me some extra exercise on the road, but it also prevents my paralyzing fear of other humans from consuming me. Oh yeah, here we go. All the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is uh, uh. Ah, great. I went for a walk on a winter's day. I don't even know if it's winter. I bet Google knows. Is it winter? In Rio? No. Here. First day of seasons. Promising. Winter solstice. December 21st. It's fall. Okay, so we got an email here from Tim. Tim says, I am a commercial airline pilot who picked up my horn for the first time in 30 plus years a couple of years back. Since then, I've been attempting to teach myself how to improvise in jazz and blues and have bought a number of courses. Though all of these have something to offer, I am still waiting for the light bulb. Did you know that light bulb is two words? To go off when it comes to understanding the language of jazz and being able to incorporate it into my own playing. Let's talk about it. So I'm not like a master jazz player or anything. It's really cool. Learning to improvise is awesome. It's a great vehicle for learning a lot of different skills. Jazz is really cool too. So I discovered this record called featuring Warren Marsh and Red Mitchell, and these guys are just improvising. You listen to them, they're just playing melodies by ear. They're just playing. It's just a stream of consciousness. So I decided to do a little bit of research on the sax player, Warren Marsh. There was a guy, John Klopatowski, Klopatowski, and he wrote a book called A Jazz Life, Memoirs and Studies Drawn from Experiences as a Student of Warren Marsh, 1982 to 1987. And the book is really cool. It's uh, the first half of it is basically just personal anecdotes anecdotes about what it was like to hang with Warren, and then the second half of the book is the stuff that he had him practice for his lessons, which is really cool. Basically, it's a passed down version of, supposedly, the teachings of Lenny Tristano. Now, one of the main ideas in the teaching for internalizing the jazz vocabulary and being able to speak it, or rather sing it, through our instrument is just listening to records so much that you can sing along with the solos. And that's really it. It's pretty much the easiest thing in the world. You don't even have to take your trumpet out of the case. So here's an example of that. <laughs> Let's do some of that. What do you transcribe? It doesn't really matter. Pretty much anything that you listen to and you go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you gotta be able to listen to it a lot without getting tired of it to be able to sing it. I wasn't singing that perfectly, it's pretty good. I've absorbed a lot of the vocabulary that Mobley is playing over that tune. And you better believe it that when I start improvising slowly by ear, those ideas are gonna be coming out. They might not be exactly the same way that Mobley played them, but the voice leading is going to be derived from what I'm hearing in the Mobley solo. 